All right, folks, back on the boss man show, friend of the show, out of the SWAT conference. The one on is Sean Woods. Coach Woods, what's down? What's going on on the bluff down there on in the Rouge, man? Hey, man, just trying to stay afloat, man, and keep things in the championship manner. That's all. I hear that, man. I hear that. Well, this year, man, look, 17 wins in Southern, man. You're doing big things, 12 wins in conference. Tell me about how happy you are this year with the way your team played, man, represent the Jaguars. Well, I was happy, you know what I'm saying? Didn't, wasn't happy the way we ended it, you know. Uh, but I think that comes with experience, and I think this year would be a different deal. I think we'd be able to capitalize all the way through. You know, I just think that we, we, didn't, we didn't finish the course like we, like we should have as good as we were. No doubt, man. And you know, as you know, at HBCU school, having a winning record is rare. <laughs> you don't know, you know, you know you gotta play these bye games, you can't get home games. So I know it wasn't the way you wanted to finish, but think of just knowing what you had to go through to get there. You know, having oh, a winning record at HBCU it, school man. like this, man, you gotta love that for love that to a degree. I know the way you want it, but yeah, it's definitely good about that year, though. Well, no doubt about it. You know, you can't please everybody, you know what I'm saying? But no I, doubt. I thought, you know, from under the circumstances, I thought we did have a real solid good year. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to bigger and better things come this year coming up. And coach, you, I know you're here to talk about yourself, man, but you got a coach of the year award, man, in ABC. This is strong and true. Tell me about how that made you feel, man, because you are a damn good coach. I'll tell anybody that you're a damn good coach any day of the week, man. And it gives you the recognition of being a damn good coach that you are. Tell me about that award, man. How it made you and your staff feel, man. What well, it made us feel great because you know what I'm saying it, 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 we were judged by our whole body of work. And uh, that's what you judged on each year. And uh, I thought our whole body of work w w was just as good as anybody's in the country under the circumstances. And, uh, you know, for that, my staff and I, you know, received that, 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 that prestigious award, you know, and that's, a, that's, that's not just in your league, that's in your district and in, 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 in your region around the country. So, you know, that lets you know how good we're doing and we're going to continue to, you know what I'm saying, strive to do bigger and better things. No doubt, Coach. And also for you, man, you know, you coach your team hard. And because you are a tense guy, I've watched you coach over the last, I don't know how, 10 years I've watched your career, man. You coach guys hard and your guys play hard every day. That's something that Sean Wilson does to play hard. So talk about how your guys played hard for you throughout all year long, how they insist they bring, bring it every day, and how happy they embody who you, who you are as a person. Well, that's our culture. You know what I'm saying? We love hard, but we know we got a, a task at hand. And, you know, my thing is you get, you get it done in recruiting. You want to recruit guys that want to be great. And then they have the same, they have the same, um, inst uh, same mentality as you. So, you know, it's not a drag. You got to coach somebody to want to be great and, and play hard all the time. And that's not the coach. That's not the kid you want to coach. No doubt. And like you said, coach, you don't have to, you don't have to coach the effort, Sean. You, you, your guys already know, have it coming in. Cause <laughs> you know, and plus you have a, I see your guys, how they interact with you guys, man. Those guys are locked in and engaged. Cause you and I both know playing sports. When it's a coach led team, time is good. When it's player led, the culture is correct and you're going to get some things accomplished. Well, no doubt about it, but you know, I've, I've been blessed to be coached by some of the best in the business. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, you know what it's like, you know what that culture is supposed to feel like, look like, and be like, you know, I've been fortunate to, to coach under three guys that have won national championships. And, uh, you know, my, 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 my basketball career has been around some of the best in the business. So I just want to take what I've learned and implement it to where I am and take that wherever I go and, and, and take that, 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 uh, that, that program to, to another level. And I think that's what we're trying to do here at Southern. And I think you're doing a great job of it. And Sean, uh, you guys got workouts coming out here in the summertime. Um, What's going to be your focus for your guys to get better in visual this summer? Because I know, as you and I both know, the summertime is where guys get better on their own. This is about you getting better. So well, how are we going to focus your guys when they get back on campus uh, for, for these sessions here, man, to really get to get better for this SWAC year coming up? Because SWAC is, is going to be tough this year, for real. No doubt about it. You know, first of all, you got to get the skill level. that You know, you, you, each year, each player, has their skill level has to be get better and better as a player. And then also implement the things that we do. And we're going to do a couple of things differently. Um, and make it routine. So by the time we come back, you know, nothing's new. You know what I mean? So you want to put your system, your culture with the new guys, uh, the skill package, and the little things that you do offensively and defensively, you want to implement that within a six to seven week period. And so when the season comes, especially in the fall, nothing's new. And then that's when everything becomes repetitive. Now, Sean, uh, if you can, tell us who are some of your key New crumbs you got coming in. I know I didn't see any on the site that I could really cite to, but who are some key guys you got coming in that you can announce it? So I guys let's look, look out look out for this year, man. I'm gonna keep that a secret. 
I'm going to tell you why, because we're getting ready to, to actually uh, 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 let out, put out who we actually signed, our whole class. So I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm going to let that happen first. And then me and you can come back on here and I'll, I'll elaborate on each one of those. Oh, players. yeah. I was like, I want to talk to my man about, I know he got some, I know he got some, some brothers in the pipeline here. I know he got something. I said, come on. I know my man ain't here outside somebody. That's what I'm <laughs> It makes sense now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It makes sense. Hey, it hey, makes sense now. You only can burn. Hey, let me tell you something. One, one thing about fire, the only way it can burn is if it catch you. If it, if it can't catch you, you don't get burned, right? You, what you said. What you well, said. Well, I'm trying to catch. You dig what I'm you saying? said. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. No doubt. I love it. Now, now Sean Mays, his brother, like you said, we kind of elaborate on it, but the swag, man, it's gotten better. And I feel like, you know, it's because it's an ABCU conference. A lot of people are looking at all oh, this is black colleges, but the conference has gotten better, top to bottom. Each school has gotten better. And your coaching is, is improving. You now you got Matlock at state now. Landon Bus is doing a hell of a job over there at uh Alcorn. You're doing a hell of a job. Johnny Jones doing a hell of a job. Talk about how this conference has really gotten better with the coaching and the players, man. I tell you what, you know, it has. And, and it's and and and, and it's it's getting people are going to start taking notice of the swag simply because of the success we were having out of conference, postseason, and things like that. And these these schools, you know what I'm saying, are, are, are start, starting to attract guys like myself to take these schools to another level, you know what I mean? And um, I think that all these schools are starting to become, you know, more aware of leadership, great leadership, and it's only going to enhance our conference uh, as, as we go forward. No doubt. And I feel like, you know, having guys like Mo Williams in there helps as well. And for you, Sean, when you was at Old Mississippi Valley State, how has how has conference really gotten better since you was over there? Since you went to Moorhead and then you came back. How has it changed in all those in, in those two stops you had since since you've been over there officially over the, 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 the Mississippi Valley State over there? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what what's happening. SWAC schools are starting to invest more in their athletics. And with that, now you're able to attract you know, solid coaches, and they can have some success. If you don't have resources and things like that, I don't care how good of a coach you are, you, you, it's going to be hard to be successful because now with this transfer portal and things like that, you, you're reaching to guys that are coming from bigger and better schools. So you got to have something to attract them uh, because they're leaving something that has, you know, much better facilities. You got to at least match it or come close to it to get that type of kid because they're already used to being, you know what I'm saying, treated and have the certain type of resources and they don't want to go backwards. They want to stay the same so they can help you get to that next level. No doubt. And Sean, I want to, last thing I want to talk to you about is a, a guy I know, I know you love. He loves you back. Randy Pirro resigned from Texas Southern. I know y'all had some great battles with the so scouts you both have, man. So talk about Randy Peel, what he means to you and the battles you had with him when he was in the conference and we had did with him in the OVC as well at Tennessee State. Man, Randy Pill is one of the better, best coaches in America. He's very underrated, major defensive mind, very, very, very uh, uh, precise on what he's done. He's well organized, and I tell you what, he's helped Johnny Jones tremendously in the two next uh, swag championships that they won. No doubt, no doubt. You know, I know I talked to Coach Peel. He all talks about how the battles with you and man, like you know, he said, you know, me and Sean talk junk, but we all say we love each other. You know, we're gonna be going each other's throats. So he talks about you lonely, man. He loves you to death and he talks about he's happy to hear you. I was happy on the show, man. But that's that's one of the coolest dudes I know in the business is Randy Peel. Yes, sir. He, he, he's, a, he's a great guy, man. And uh Randy and I have done everything but work together. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I, like I tell you before, Johnny Jones was lucky to have a, a veteran guy like him on his staff. No doubt. But, Sean, man, hey, thank you for your time today, brother. Hey, we'll, when we get to release those hey, information, brother, we're going to talk about those guys a little bit more, brother. So I'm going to wait on that for you, brother. But hit you hey, hey, it. Hey, let's chat, bro. Let's soon. do it. <laughs> it's going to be real soon within the next week or two. So let's get back on it, okay? All right, brother. Hey, be safe, brother. See you soon, man. You too, big dog. All right, now. All right.